The match between Carlton and St Kilda looked to be one-sided, third against last on the ladder. But the condition of the Moorabbin Oval helped to even it up. And before the game, Carlton lost Hunter, Ashman, Buckley and English through injury. In the first round, the Blues won by only 14 points, and this was to be a thriller too. We join a couple of minutes into the second quarter, with St Kilda leading by three points, and the commentators Nick Kay and Jeff Leake. 4-4 the Saints, 4-1 the Blues. This is the second term at the three-minute mark, where Jones, the best ruckman to field, to Hartney, the back pocket player. Alvin swipes it on, Roberts for the Saints gets it. Lovely left footer, up the full forward, Duel and uh, lock it, lock it down. Whipped out of the pack there by Reed. Cunningham tried to shepherd for his teammate there. Came across now to Morwood. Kicks the high one to lock it and Duel. Duel's fist in the way. Shot! Clever goal! What an opportunist. Former blue. Now the Saint making the most of that. Three minutes gone. The Saints lead by nine points. Wow, Jones gets it down once more. Meldrum in the glue pot. Jones tries once more. Here's uh, Terry Smith on the bottom of the pack and umpire Russo once again to call for a bounce. And uh, you'd think he'd move out a bit considering the ugliness of the play so far in that centre. But here's Meldrum of the Blues. Hodges there, beautiful positioning and the umpire says that it's his mark. Looks to play on. Cronin on the centre wing. Back to Hodges. The Saints forward once more. Chance for Sharp and Lockett. Lockett going for the punch. Side bottom tries to break through. And it's Bruce Stuhl on the bottom of the pack. And umpire side bottom says a bounce will take place. Only 25 to 30 metres out from the St Kilda goal. And the St Kilda side doing very well. Leading by nine points against uh, Carlton, who are in position number three on the league ladder. Here's Narkel. Too many players to get through, and of course another bounce will take place. St Kilda's forward line. Well, Jones lost sight of that one. You'd expect a few scrambles on a wet day with uh, players gathering around when the ball hits the turf. It's not going to move very much. Barker coming in there, Cronin gets it out. Good mark by Michael Roberts running with the flight of the ball. Missed much of the year through uh, his leg injury, not a good kick from him. Nice pick up by Burns, treads his way around, tackle, loses possession. One player, you could see him saying, play on chaps, but uh, it's come to a halt. Another ball up, but only 20 metres from uh, St Kilda's goal, and they're in front by nine points. Chance for the Saints, but Jones once again dominating in the ruck. Chance for Austin, very scrambly play here. Michael Roberts is the one with the ball. And the umpire says another ball up will take place, this time 35 metres out from the goals. St Kilda into attack. 34 plays 25, the Saints lead by nine. Roberts the snap, that's long. Will Dool get to it? No, he won't. And St Kilda lead by 15 points. Michael Roberts kicks his first goal, and that was his 10th kick. Burns a good wet weather. Player. Three minutes later, no further score. <laughs> of whom? <laughs> a minstrel by the look of his face. <laughs> it's Dean. <laughs> Dean kicking from the glue pot, and uh, as you'd expect, not a very good kick. And it's Roberts that takes the mark. Very difficult to kick from that centre position. Roberts goes wide, avoids it. Morwood from behind. Montgomery throws it out to Meldrum. Meldrum gives it on to McConville. And he looks for McClure. Oh, but the initiative shown by Barthes then was tremendous. Gives it to Mace. Good fist away by Hartney. Chance for Murphy. Murphy has time to steady. And he looks for Madden. But Cowley gets his hands to it. Roberts on the bottom of the pack. To May there also. Malin gets it to McClure. And here's Alvin on his own. And Alvin has marked 35 metres out from goal directly in front. And a little inexperience showing there on the Saints defensive line. 
two players unmarked. Alvin was one of them, and he has a chance to kick Carlton's fifth goal. Alvin's kick is a shocker. And the Blues trail by 14 points. Well, Alvin's kicked the Blues total uh, in this second term, 1-1. One, one. Ball comes out. Strong mark there by Cowie. Cowie's a man looking after the Giants, or was the Giant in, uh, in Justin Madden. The side bottom. Cleverly standing in front is Johnson. But three options going there. To a good uh, ball getter in uh, Mailer. The chip shot's good to Ralph. A very quick lead by Ralph. He's put it all over and killed his fullback, Frawley. Every time he goes for the ball, he's a good two metres in front. And Ralph is a very long kicker of the football. The Blues could need a goal right now. They're 14 points behind. And Ralph yet to get a score. Beautiful kick. Good make it. It did. Lovely kick. Good play by Warren Ralph. 11 minutes gone, second quarter, and the Saints lead by eight points. Russo balls it up. Wow, Jones once again in the hit out. And it's Mailer that gets a free kick for his efforts that time. Could almost get a 15 metre penalty, but doesn't. In the glue pot, goes for the handball to Jones, who fumbles. Too slow, the Blues. It's Sharp that tries to get it away. It's not a very good handball. Straight to McConville of Carlton. To Johnson it goes. As the Blues into attack once more. McClure. his body well then Mark McClure to out position Trevor Barker and McClure would be 30 metres out from goal directly in front and Carlton have a chance of getting to within two points of St Kilda McClure lining up for goal number two and he's put it right through the middle and the Saints only lead by two points St Kilda by two points, it's 40 to 38 as Jones beats side bottom once more in that centre. St Kilda's to May, St Kilda's Mace, very negative football there. Barker the man to kick it out of that mud heap, up the Morwood. Board Montgomery's opponent and Hartley grabs it. Belgium runs well. Bell on the wing, McClure giving him the high sign to kick it past him, he does, to Ralph. Knocked away from Ralph. Grab by McClure. The rolling ball that Hodges a very economical backman today. He's, he's had about 10 or 12 or more kicks. 10. Out of play in the Blues forward pocket. Big chance for the Blues. Madden contesting in the ruck against Cowie. Madden to Elvin. Saints putting on a lot of pressure. Frawley on the bottom of the pack. And the umpire says... A bounce will take place only 25 metres out from the Carlton goal. Umpire side bottom throws it up. Madden tries to take it out of the air again. And yet another ball up. 15 minutes gone. St Kilda 6 4 40. Carlton 6 2 38. Chance for the Blues to score. Madden and Cowie once more. Madden gets it down, but only as far as Mace to Barker. Good play by Barker. On to Keel. Keel looks for Morwood, and Morwood takes it well. Has a fit of the fumbles. Has time to recover. To Cronin. Fingertips not quite uh, there, but Keel takes it off the hands of Meldrum, and here they go again through Cronin. Good handball on to Cunningham. Cunningham short to side bottom. Side bottom looks at the goals. Steadies and kicks long to lock it. And this is bound through for a goal. Amazing. And side bottom very happy. And Curly Austin is not. Austin remonstrating that he's got his fingers to the ball. But the umpire, the goal umpire in good position, saying that it was a goal. And St Kilda lead by eight points. The Saints, 46 to 38 to the Blues. Out of the centre, with Wow Jones is winning every ruck contest, 
loving the conditions, using his great strength against the St Kilda side bottom. The umpire wisely takes it out of that uh, that gluey centre to throw it up. So, again, Johnson, free ball on the half forward line. Melton did the right thing, but Maddening took it nicely. Back to Blackwell on Alvin, who's kicked uh, one goal. Another one coming up. Good play by Alvin, but a shocking kick. Right across the uh, the goal front and out of play in the out of forward pocket. We have a lively game on our hands. The Blues a chance to score. Madden, but it's Odgers once more. Kick number 11, but this one's a poor one, and it goes out on the full. So the Blues still with a chance. Glasgow, half forward flank, kicks towards Madden. Terry Smith claiming the mark, but the umpire will call a bounce. 30 metres out from the Carlton goal. The Saints leading by eight points. Cowie getting up high, but straight to Malin. Malin the snap from the pocket. And a great goal by Phil Malin. Impossible angle. And one of the better goals we'll see today. Jones lost sight of it. Our side bottom. This is St Kilda. Burns. Skies it. Good play, but Glasgow. Cronin and Meldrum. Carton with a chance with a run through here. Smith for the Saints. Rolls into trouble and out of trouble. Receives a bit of treatment for a, a tackle around the head in his efforts. Takes the free, kicks it towards the wing. Side bottom. Wow, Jones. Oh, he really got up there and passed with Hodges. Play on as a call. The advantage rule. It's Jeff Cunningham. Kicks it to Lockett. He just snared that one right on the line. Tony Lockett's second only kick. Dool's been playing very good football against him. That marvel from the Carlton, Bruce Dool. Play him anywhere. And the noise is for Lockett from the, uh, the Saints fans. Yet the score. Good 60 metres out. Lovely kick. Beautiful kick. Sensational shot from Lockett. 19 minutes gone. The Saints by eight points. Umpire side bottom throws it up. Jones gives away the free kick. And the Saints will go into attack again. Side bottom has it. Handball to Barker. Looks for Burns. And Burns at half forward gets a 15 metre penalty and he sucked the umpire right in that time. And Burns within kicking distance now. 45 metres out from goal. He'll try a torpedo punt. Dual last line of defence. Easy mark. Carlton Backman, the ever-reliable Bruce Stool, goes towards McConville. Off hands to Morwood. Morwood short pass to Bashini. And he's off. And a handball to Narco. And Narco will kick a goal. And that's his second and the Saints are looking for. Great quarter of scoring for both sides. A free kick from the centre going to side bottom. The Saints have kicked 5-1. The Blues 4-1 for the turn. And that kick by side bottom straight to the arms of Montgomery, stolen by Mora. Out to Hodges, a bad handball. Dean kicks it poorly. Murphy gives a bad handball away. Oh, comedy of errors going on at the moment. This is Murphy for the Blues. He wouldn't believe it from the top side, but a good display of pressure football from both teams then. And the ball to be hurled in the air by, uh, by the umpire. 25 metres from the St Kilda goal. Chance for the Saints once more. Jones once gets it down. And another ball up. Keel getting up in the uh, bottom of the pack that time. And there's about 20 players around the ball. Side bottom takes it out of the air. Second attempt and he's kicked the goal. Oh! What a remarkable goal and isn't he a happy boy? His third goal. The Saints have not beaten the Blues since 1978, and today may be that day. 
The boys into attack now. McCure's McClure's long arms marked it. The hoots are because he was reported for striking Trevor Barker. Dana Murphy, the little fella stretches up. Gets it. Handball's there to Malin. Malin with another sap shot, perhaps. Gives it plenty of air. Frawley thumps it away. Cowie chips it on. Malin comes back again. Blasts away. Holly's third goal. Malin's goal narrowed the gap to 14 points but St Kilda did beat Carlton for the first time since 1978. Carlton briefly got to within 11 points in the last quarter, but it was a hard slog in the mud, and they won it by 21 points, St Kilda. Lockett three goals, as did Sidebottom and Burns, Narkel and Fashini each two, and for the Blues, McClure, Blackwell, Malin and Ralph all kicked two goals, and Mark McClure, as Jeff Leake said, was reported for striking Trevor Barker. Well, Carlton's defeat means that they're just that much closer to the opposition behind them in the race for the important third spot for the finals. And for the Saints, well, after only three wins in 15 games, it was like a grand final. For Phil Cronin, in his first year in the VFL, it's been a big week. He was in the West Australian team, which beat Victoria in Perth for the Australian Championship, and now this. Here he is with Nick Kay. Phil, would you count this as your best win for the year? The club's best win, yeah, it was tremendous. Any win's good, but uh, today was the first time we've won in the under-19s, the reserves and uh, the league since uh, Captain Cook arrived, so it's tremendous. I was very impressed by the desperation shown. Was this game planned out uh, very well before? Well, uh, we went out uh, out there with the one, one thing in mind, and that was to win, rather than um, just negate all the time. We took risks because we got uh, nothing to lose, so we went out there and uh, gave it our best shot. The week's uh, break, did that help the club injury-wise? Uh, possibly, yes. Uh, there were three or four guys injured from the Geelong game and uh, the extra time off certainly helped them uh, recuperate. What about your form so far this year? Have you been happy since coming over from Western Australia? I've uh, been very happy, except uh, I was down on form on Tuesday against uh, Victoria, which uh, I wasn't too pleased about. But uh, I come back and I, I just uh, sat down and thought, thought about what I had to do and uh, today's game was tremendous. Well, where to now for St Kilda? Well, uh, there's six games to go. And uh, we'll be trying to win more than we lose, that's for sure. And uh, hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll go further. How have you found the change to VFL football? Uh, there's a lot more pressure over in Victoria, but um, the guys are tremendous. There's always twos and threes there to help you, uh, when, you when you're in trouble, but uh, I think it's pressure and a bit more speed. Can you see yourself staying on for a while? Oh, as long as I get a kick, I can, yeah. Well, it's been a big week for you, hasn't it? Uh, you played in a winning Western Australian side on, on Tuesday. What did that feel like? Uh, that, that was tremendous. You know, uh, John Todd and all the, the selectors and the guys did a tremendous job. I was disappointed that I let the team down because I played badly, but um, it was just a tremendous team effort, really. Phil Cronin of Western Australia and St Kilda. Well, the match between North Melbourne...